So I want to pull up a live example. One of the companies we work with is uh, Schuler Service. They're based in Allentown, Pennsylvania. And so we kind of talked through the new SEO formula. Now I kind of want to show you in the real world what that looks like. And what I want to encourage you to do is, is put on your thinking cap. You know, you know, now you've been educated at least on the 20%, right, of how this stuff works. Um, put on your thinking cap and uh, and think about how this how this applies. So let's just let's just type in. I'm going to type in Allentown Plumber, and you can see, uh, you know, this this company's playing in the um, local service ads now. Um, we've got them up number one on the on the map listings, and they're also the first organic listing to come in play. So let's kind of unpack what the you know what the what the strategy is, how you make this how you make this happen. So let's just pull up their website. We're still focused on the on the on page factors here. So I talked about a couple things. I talked about thinking about the, the user experience and trying to draw people in. And a great way to do that is by leveraging multimedia. So here we've got a picture of their of their team, right? We've got read reviews, meet Schuler service. That's one of the first things people want to do when they get to a page is find out like, is this legit? Can these call guys be trusted, right? So this is like two things that can draw someone deeper into the page. We've got the opportunity to chat that came up right in the bottom, bottom left hand corner. And it kind of invites you to scroll down, right? You've got the information you need to make a buying decision above the fold, but it does invite you to scroll down and say, okay, like you're Allentown plumber, heating, plumbing, electrical. We've got a video we can play, right? Multimedia and a lot of content without being overly tech saturated that pulls you in, right? So, so that's the first thing that user experience, like kind of getting people to go deeper into the page, deeper into the site. Um, we've got our, our title tag, Allentown Plumber, Schuler Services, PA, Plumbing Contractor. We've got our keywords there. We've got it in the H1 tag. We've got a lot of great, unique content as we scroll through the page, right? So that's the first thing we're looking for. The second is, is making sure we've got pages for each of the services, pages for each of the cities that they operate in. So let's like look at services, right? So Schuler Services does plumbing, emergency plumbing, faucet repair, clogged toilets, everything in between. So let's just look at, at drain cleaning. So we've got pages on the site for each one of those services, right? Again, with a unique video talking to that particular service and then unique content throughout the page. So we wanna give Google the information that their customers are looking for. So we want pages just like this for each of the services that we want to rank for. Type downtown drink cleaning. And there, there you go. It takes you right into the drink cleaning section on the site. So you want to have pages for each of the services. And then you also want to create pages for each of the cities that they operate in. So we come over here you know, they've gone a little bit wider, like they, they want to serve a, a wider area. But, you know, we've got Bethlehem and McCungie and Easton and Whitehall and Emmaus, right? And so what we want to do is create pages for each of those cities that they operate in, right? So we've got Bethlehem Plumber, right? Bethlehem Plumber Plumbing, unique content for each of that stuff. And then this, this is nearby now, where new unique check-in data is flowing into the page. So we can see a day ago, uh, they checked out a dishwasher two days ago. They did a disposal repair, and this is literally within Bethlehem, right? And so, you know, without beating a, a dead horse, you know, they just want to kind of give you the high level, right? We've got the main service pages and the main site targeting Allentown, right? We've got pages for each of the different services that we we offer, and then we've got city pages targeting the surrounding cities that they serve with unique content. Uh, for each one of those. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of show you, again, as an example. So we've looked at their site, we looked at the on-page factors, you know, they're ranking for a vast majority of the plumbing related keywords in and around Allentown. Um, here's a quick look at their, at their results. So um, 479 calls directly via um, the internet. And so that's on a $7,800 expense, that's via pay-per-click and management fees. Um, if we divide that at $16.43 per lead, and 
178 of those came from organic, 91 came from, from Google Maps. So a full 269 of their leads coming directly from organic search. So I mean, th this stuff works. When you apply it correctly, it can have a great impact on the lead flow that you get via the internet. So I, I've got a couple people that are volunteering. I think we can do like one or two. So let's just pull up. And again, I, I have not looked at these sites. I don't know. Really, I want this more than anything else to be an opportunity for you to kind of take what you've learned and say, okay, how does this apply? And can I look at another person's site and see what I would need to change? Because if you can, then you could probably look at it for yourself and say, okay, here's what I need to change on my site. Here's what I think needs to be improved. And again, this is just the on-page part, right? There's a whole nother part, which is the off-page, which is really what drives positioning. But you can't drive positioning if your on-page isn't set up correctly. All right, so I've pulled up Smith & Sons Plumbing in Frisco. This is Rick Smith. Thank you for volunteering your site. So let's just kind of like real quick, scroll up and down. So it says Plumbing Frisco, Texas, Smith & Sons Plumbing. So we do have the service. We do have the, um, the geo modifier Frisco. Only thing I would say here is that we're using plumbing. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but up here in the top, this is the title tag. It's one of the key things look, Google looks at to see what the page is about. Uh, we've got plumbing-frisco-texas, and then we've got Smith and Son Plumbing. So we're using plumbing twice. So plumbing at the beginning, plumbing at the end. We know that there are some different variations of the keyword plumbing that are pretty important. Plumber, plumbers. So you know when I when I find a company that their name is plum, like Smith and Son's Plumbing, I'd rather like have like Frisco Plumbers that we we've, we've kind of hit the plumber and plumbers geo modifier and then Smith and Sons plumbing um, just a mild thing but it might give you the ability to kind of diversify uh, the keyword that that title tag is is hitting here's our h1 it says specialist in plumbing specialist in Frisco Texas okay I um, we, we definitely have plumbing in Frisco so that's that's a check in your favor are there a couple ways you might be able to wordsmith the keywords in this h1 and this is what I'm saying when I say h1 uh, potentially right something to, to pay attention to um, from a user experience perspective, this is pretty good, right? We've got um, the ability to schedule an appointment and or potentially chat maybe down here, or maybe this is just straight to schedule. So I can see how that would kind of pull me into the site. This is a house call pro integration straight to your booking system. Good call. Um, the imagery here, when I say use multimedia, this is multimedia, but the only thing is it's, it's very generic. So we've got a picture of a flag and then we've got a picture of a wrench and then we've got a picture of a, like a drain. I'd much rather this be real people. I, ideally, you know, your guys, yourself, your family, like that way they, they get to know like trust. It just kind of has a different feeling to it. Um, we've got, I mean, all in all, this is pretty good, right? We've got the keyword in the title on the H1. We've got a reason to scroll down. Um, seems to me like a lot of technical jargon. So, this is very heavy SEO'd, like SEO'd in that it's like Frisco comma Texas, Frisco comma Texas, Frisco comma Texas. This page was written for search engines five, six years ago, as opposed to written for the consumer, which wants to see, are you gonna show up on time? Are you gonna be professional? Are you gonna stand behind your word, right? And so I, I would, I think from a user experience perspective, if you could kinda, you know, Keep your keywords in there without feeling too spammy. Keep your keywords in there, kind of diversify the Frisco comma Texas to the front, to the back, um, you know, leveraging some of these different, you know, permutations of the keyword. It might work a little bit better um, and it would definitely create a better user experience. So, that, I mean, that's just on the homepage. Um, if, you know, we do have our address, name, phone number down here in the footer, which is great. Um, we kind of talk about the cities that we serve. Let's just pull up um, the services. So we've got slab leak repair, leak detection, general plumbing, hot waters, and drain cleaning. So the main services are being represented. I think you could go a little bit deeper and have a little bit more of these, but let's just go hot water. So we've got hot water heaters, Frisco, Smith & Sons Plumbing. I don't think you need your name in the title for all of the service pages. Like I keep the name in the title on the home page, And then like when it comes to the drain cleaning page, the water heater page, I don't really think it's necessary to have the um, the name up in that title, but you know, for, I mean, from a foundational perspective, we have Frisco, Texas water heaters. 
And then we've got hot water heaters in Frisco, Texas. Again, very SEO'd. Um, we've got the keywords there, but it could be written more from a consumer perspective. Um, and this needs more content, right? We've got hot water heaters in Frisco, nothing worse, and very, very basic. Um, you know, this needs a little bit more meat and potatoes to it. And I would say that's probably the case for like gas leak detection, same thing. So Rick, is this helpful at all kind of to see how you've, you know, how you, know, you can improve this and hopefully for the rest of you as well, like looking at it from, from an SEO optimization perspective, you know, we've got the keyword, we've got a couple pages. One thing I, I'm thinking is being missed here is, is city sages. So McKinney and Plano and Little Elm and the colony. Um, if you want to rank in those surrounding cities and surrounding towns, like we should have a hyperlinked page that uniquely talks about that um, and has potentially that nearby now short code that can pass geo modified content into the page. Hopefully that was helpful. Let me know in comments. Was it helpful to see a real example of this kind of off the fly? Um, kind of helps maybe open your eyes a little bit to what I'm talking about when I say title tag, H1 tag, pages for the cities, pages for the services. Hopefully that makes a little sense. Um, I'm going to show one more quick example of this. So Laney's is a, is a company we work with in uh, Fargo, North Dakota. Um, I'm just going to pull up their website real quick. So I typed in Fargo ND plumber. You know, we can type Fargo plumber, Fargo plumbing, Fargo plumbing services. They rank very well above the fold in the top three pack. Um, and I'll just kind of quickly hit hit the high points without going nearly as in depth. Um, but so we've got plumbing, heating, cooling. So they're more of a full service company um, in Fargo, North Dakota. We've got that, you know, unique um, multimedia kind of pulls you in, kind of draws you to scroll down. Uh, we've got, you know, 24 hour plumbing and HVAC Fargo, North Dakota, unique content. Um, we've got pages for each of the services, right? So there's pages for all this stuff. And then we've got pages for the cities that they serve in and around their, their service area. And so that's why the, the site ranks as well as it does. I'm going to close that so that that little boop, boop, boop doesn't keep hitting us. But um, so just another example of what happens when you can get your SEO going. Um, here's Fargo, North Dakota. I, I, you know, I think it's, you know, 150 or so population, 150,000 population, 930 leads. All of these come from organic. So they do a lot of branding as well, but you know, these calls for them come from, you know, they come from organic search. They come from Google maps. They come from web forms from, from the organic search. So, I mean, it really, really can drive a lot of leads and a lot of opportunity for you. Well, I hope you got value from that video. If you'd like more ideas, strategies, and techniques on how to really more effectively market your plumbing or HVAC business online, I'd like to invite you to go to plumberseo.net slash checklist. Uh, there we've outlined the ultimate online marketing checklist for plumbing and HVAC contractors to, to really maximize your lead flow online. This really simplifies the entire online marketing equation into a checklist that you can easily identify what you should do next and what you could do to really probably double, triple, or even 10x the number of leads you're getting for your plumbing or HVAC business online. So you can get that completely free of charge, simple one-page checklist with a video that explains and kind of walks you through it. Just go to plumberseo.net slash checklist. Talk to you soon.